Hi, my name is Annie. I'm from Chicago and I'm a blockhead. The question I really want to know is did any of them sail Opties and did they have a boat name that they liked the most for any of their types of boats? Yeah, I grew up sailing Opties from when I was five. I started in the Opti. I grew up sailing on my dad's uh, keel boat, so I skipped that part of life, which is a bit of a shame. So I grew up sailing a Sabo, which is a very similar boat, which we have in Australia. I didn't really necessarily have a favourite boat name. I had a favourite sail number. I had 11007. And um, my first boat name was Slippery When Wet, and uh, I had that for the first few years of my sailing career. My name is Megan, I'm from Pewaukee, and I'm a blockhead. My burning question is, how many of your teammates sing while they're sailing? Uh, Megan, one guy that I sail with that sings a lot is a guy called Kinley Fowler, and he is singing non-stop. Uh, most of the racing that we're doing is quite intense, so I don't think there's much time for, uh, for singing any songs, unfortunately. You're wearing a, a headpiece and a microphone, and so you can hear him the whole time, which is pretty frustrating. My name is John Lieber, I'm from Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and my, I have a few questions. I know John. Do you have any um, <laughs> funny stories about um, Rome Kirby? Yeah. Do you have a funny story about Rome Kirby? Oh, boy. Did, he, did he ask? Oh no. <laughs> uh, Rome Kirby, legend of the sport. Um, got a couple of stories about him, but unfortunately I won't be able to tell you. The bone broth, as he's known. Um, not many good stories I can share with you on camera, but um, plenty that I know of. Well, I've got a lot of stories about Ryan Kirby, but I'm not sure I can tell them to you now. I'm Johnny Dempsey. Yes. I'm from Pewaukee, Wisconsin as well, and my question is, what is it like to sail a hydrofoiling boat at 50 knots? That's a good question, Johnny. So it was, uh, what's it like to sail a boat at 50 knots? Uh, it's bloody terrifying. The water starts to boil around the foil, so you can actually see it growing. The boat just starts to shake, the wing sheet gets heavier, the boards suck, it's just weird sounds and creaks coming from all over the boat. A little mistake can make stuff go horribly wrong. You are very, very nervous that, um, you know, the thing is going to explode and you're going to crash. <laughs> My recommendation to you, because as you get older, you'll probably, you'll probably be doing 50 knots soon with, you know, sailing development, is just keep calm and just do your job well and then nothing bad will happen. <laughs> but I mean, the adrenaline rush you get from it is, is unbelievable, so it's a pretty cool feeling. And what is the worst accident you've ever gotten into in sailboats? Sailing an AC-72 in, in San Francisco in uh, 2012, and uh, we were doing kind of 40 knots in a barrel way, and we pitch poled. The boat ended up flipping all the way upside down and ended up many miles off shore. Um, I've broken masts in the South Atlantic with capsized 50s. 45s, you name it, but the 72 is probably the scariest. Who's uh, who's the most annoying person on your team? Without a doubt is Kyle Langford. Has to be Kyle Langford. We call him the seagull because he's always squawking. Just constantly bantering and squawking like a seagull. It would have to be Ted Hackney. I would also like to know, how much can you bench press? I guess you have to bench press to know. Um. <laughs> what can I bench press? Um, more than Kyle Langford. I'm not that strong. I couldn't actually tell you. I haven't lifted, <laughs> lifted many weights lately. I learned all my best pickup lines from Ted Hackney. Ted, who taught you those pickup lines? I think Kinley Fowler would have been the person who taught Ted Hackney always because like, he's a master of influence and persuasion. <laughs> Ted Hackney is, yeah, he's got some good pickup lines, doesn't he? Thank mm -hmm. you.